What is so common between Tokyo and Osaka in Japan, Seoul and Busan in South Korea, Paris and Lyon in France, and Rome and Milan in Italy? Well, they are all densely populated and high-speed trains run between them. A recent study conducted in these cities has shown that the daily traveling passenger and traffic volume between these eight cities has doubled after the introduction of high-speed rails. Today, only 16 nations have a total of 43,000 km high-speed railway or HSR network globally. If we look into the beginning of HSR, Germany made history in 1933 by launching a train having the top speed of 160 km per hour, which was later increased to 200 km per hour. After some significant speed records in Europe, the world was surprised in 1964 when Japan started the operation of a fully brand new 515 km standard gauge line the Tokaido Shinkansen from Tokyo Central to Shin Osaka. In the Indian subcontinent, the first milestone towards high-speed travel was achieved in 1972, when Rajadhani train increased its speed limit to 120 km per hour. Driven by a self-propulsion module, the Indian Railway's Vande Bharat Express, popularly known as Train 18, is capable of running at a speed of up to 160 km per hour. Today, more than 1.6 billion passengers are carried by high-speed railways across the world, which is more than the entire population of India. To make India 21st century ready, the need is to bring the best in the public transportation system. The idea of introducing high-speed rail will be a revolutionary tool in this direction and will make public transport between our cities smart and eco-friendly. High-speed rail networks will be like a magnet of development as they will open up areas through which they pass to the benefits of connectivity, boost rural and urban economies, generate jobs and equip India to compete with advanced nations. It will also work as technology percolator and help in capacity building for infrastructure industry. High-speed rail journey in various countries like Japan, South Korea and France etc. show that bullet trains are a successful solution for linking cities in densely populated areas. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High-Speed Rail or MAHSR project will be one such highly beneficial project not only in terms of saving time and facilitating comfort but also in terms of reducing conventional traffic. The project will also boost the movement of goods and services between the cities and the transferability of business shall immensely improve. To immediately take up this ambitious Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail project, National High Speed Rail Corporation has been set up as a special purpose vehicle with the partnership of Government of India through Ministry of Railways, Government of Gujarat and the Government of Maharashtra. The project is estimated to cost 1.1 lakh crores of which the Japan International Cooperation Agency or JICA is slated to fund 88,000 crore rupees on very favorable terms. Japan International Consultants Consortium or JICC has been appointed as general consultants to execute India's first high-speed rail corridor. India will be using the world-famous Shinkansen technology for its master project. Shinkansen is the term used to describe bullet trains in Japan and it literally means new trunk line. It's one of the most iconic images of modern Japan with a track record of zero fatality till date. The Shinkansen trains are equipped with high acceleration and deceleration and a train body that causes less damage to the tracks. The route will cover a distance of 508 kilometers with 12 stations from the heart of Gujarat in Ahmedabad to Mumbai in just two hours time as opposed to the current travel time of eight hours. Aerial LIDAR or light detection and ranging topographic survey was adopted for the first time in a railway project in India. 
The entire survey was completed in three months with good accuracy and data submitted to the general consultants in April 2017. All other geotechnical surveys have been accomplished successfully and for the timely execution of the project, NHSRCL has divided the entire project into 27 functional packages. NHSRCL is also engaged in constructing country's biggest 13.2 meter single tube tunnel that will have a length of around 21 kilometers. To avoid disturbing Flamingo Sanctuary and nearby mangroves at the Thane Creek, a stretch of 7 kilometer tunnel will be under the seabed a dedicated high-speed rail training institute that will serve as a backbone for future development of other high-speed corridors in India is being developed in Vadodara. The institute will have all the facilities which are available at High-Speed Training Institute of East Japan Railway Company at Shin Shirakawa in Japan. The challenges that lay ahead for the engineering team of NHSRCL is to design long-span steel bridges within busy existing railway stations at Vadodara, Ahmedabad and Sabarmati. Special and longest steel bridges are in Vadodara Yard and Ahmedabad Yard. NHSRCL is ensuring minimum acquisition of land 17.5 meters against about 50 meter to 75 meters for road and strives to ensure that landowners are adequately compensated and are resettled if required and with minimum possible disturbance. NHSRCL is making sure that maximum number of trees at the construction sites are transplanted to a nearby location. It is our endeavor that all replanted trees should survive the exercise. NHSRCL aims to bring not only Shinkansen technology to India, but also the Japanese culture of safety, punctuality and passenger comfort to Mumbai Ahmedabad high-speed rail project. Regular batches of NHSRCL employee visit to Japan are planned for the right amount of exposure required for skill development and bringing in the right mindset of safety and punctuality at all levels in the organization. The Japanese Shinkansen bullet trains come with advanced features like automatic train control, centralized traffic control and ballast-less tracks. Same technology is being implemented in Indian bullet trains. By keeping the body airtight, the trains will be designed to keep optimal air pressure that will ensure comfortable journey for all its passengers, be it infants, adults or senior citizens even while passing through long tunnels. Ergonomically designed seats will have automatic rotation facility which will help passengers enjoy the view in the direction in which the train is moving. Passengers could also peacefully read and write as the noise level inside the cars will be maintained below 70 decibels. The passengers will be informed through public information display in each cabin about important travel details like next stop, schedule time for next station, train speed, etc. The prominent feature to be introduced is the separate toilets and washrooms for women, men and specially abled passengers. There will also be a multi-purpose room for feeding mothers or sick persons which will have a folding bed baggage rack and mirrors. There will be no stress of cancellations as trains will be equipped to monitor extremities and irregularities in wind, rain, fog and other climate changes, ensuring full operation for every weather condition. Activated by push buttons, train cabins will have emergency intercom buttons to help and inform passengers of any emergency situations. Automatic brake application prevents train to exceed the permissible speed limits. In case of any untoward situation, trains will be able to stop in just 78 seconds, ensuring safety along with speed. 22 seismometers will be installed along the track to monitor and minimize negative effects on bullet train and its onboard passengers because of natural disasters. Once commissioned, there will be total 70 trips each day between the two stations and according to an estimate, nearly 40,000 people will travel per day. 
High speed rails in India will cut down the dependency on imported hydrocarbon fuel as they would be completely electrified. The system will have lower maintenance and operating cost in comparison to conventional trains. Setting up of stations along the corridor will see nearby business centers, historical, religious and other landmarks a healthy rise in tourism from local as well as international tourists. The system will also create a new market for non-railway businesses to meet consumers' requirement at each station. The Mahasar project is already creating job opportunities for different sectors like construction, manufacturing and design ancillary industries etc. It will also give boost to the Make in India initiative as six bullet train sets will be assembled and track slabs in future will be manufactured in India only at a much lower cost. The Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail project is not about one corridor but about bringing competency to entire Indian mobility, infrastructure and economy. Above all, it's about fulfilling the dream of the new India. It's a tremendous project that has really been initiated by the government. Har work ke logo ke liye kafi suvidhaayi janak hoga. Kafi saare nahe businesses launch hoge. Sabko bhoat faida milega, nahe nahe vacancies open hoge. Ke real estate mein bada hoa hoga. Dusra job opportunity milegi. Tourism place mein faida hoga. Amare paas airport bhi nahi hai. To hume agar fast ek hi din mein travel return karna ho. Bullet train se ham jaldi hi. अपना काम करके आ सकते हैं और सेम डे हमारा काम हो सकता है। जे बाहर जा कंट्रीज में दे आपन बगाई जो जो डेवलपमेंट बगाई जो ते आता आपले इंडिया में दे पन ये था है। बुलेट ट्रेन्स इंडिया में आ रही है तो मैं बहुत ही एक्साइटेड हूँ और मैं एस ए इंडियन बहुत प्राउड फील करती हूँ। ये अच्छी सोच है गवर्नमेंट की और लोगों को रोजगार भी मिलेगा इ